the 10th of June, Monday of the week of Pentecost 3, Clarence McCartney, 1879-1957. After Jesus was baptized of John and the Holy Spirit, the Spirit driveth him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. It was there in the solitude and loneliness of the desert, perhaps the same Arabia, that the first chapter in the history of redemption was written, and Jesus won for himself and for us the victory over temptation. In these Arabia periods of withdrawal and retirement, we have time to be alone, to salute our soul and see what it doth wear. What seems at first to be only a lonely desert place and experience with our spirits chafing to get free of it turns out to be a place that draws us nearer to God. For there we confer not with flesh and blood, but with God. And the prayer, Ashton Oxenden, O-X-E-N-D-E-N, 1808-1902. O oh my God, at this time when temptation presses store upon me, I flee unto thee to hide me. Thou hast bidden me resist the devil, but I have no power to do so except it be given me from above. Thou knowest my weakness and my danger. Help me, I entreat thee. Strengthen me, uphold me, fill me with thy grace, Savior. Let thy strength be made perfect in my weakness. And when Satan would have me and would sift me as we do, thou pray for me that I may manfully fight against him and at length gain the victory. Lord Jesus, thou wast tempted and thou lovest to succor them that are tempted. O come to my help. Amen.